What up, Sagittarius? Thank you for stopping by. I'm Mags. You're watching White Buffalo Divine. We're going to do a real quick reading here, past, present, future. Apologize for the delay. It's been a crazy busy couple of weeks for me. Uh, if you are interested in a private reading, all the information is below. As always, I appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I just had a crazy, crazy Leo reading. So if you are tied to a Leo or if you have Leo in your chart, you really might want to go check that out. I felt an energy I have never felt before. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll just leave it there. Anyways, back to you, Sage. Beautiful, beautiful person, you. Okay, show us what was passed for Sagittarius, please. Give me three. We're going to do a nine card pull. Three different decks. Give me three. There they are. What do we got? Wow. Seven of coins, ten of wands in reverse. Somebody just lightened the load big time. Six of wands. Can't make it up. That is literally what ended on the Leo reading. Okay, Sage, pay attention. It is a full moon today. It is the hunter's moon. I do believe it's a full moon in Aries, which means you will absolutely be affected as a fire sign. Uh, one, one, one on the clock, right as I held that up, by the way. Um, so bottom of the deck, we have two of swords. There's something here about you were not able to discuss what really went on uh, in the recent past yeah and then under that we have ten of swords in reverse whatever it was so look at this ten of wands and ten of swords in reverse boom okay talk about a new cycle for Sagittarius kudos to you congratulations because that is something that uh I the the Sagittarians that I'm connecting with like this was this was not just a regular daily stressor okay so um let's talk about let's go ahead and do present energy what Sagittarius is present energy give me three king of wands boom fire sign out the gate king of wands now here's what's really interesting here in this particular deck, the artwork is always tied in with the cards, but on this deck, it's a female on the King of Wands, okay? Um, and she's a mature female. So uh, we're not going to get gender specific. It's not about the female. It's about being older, wiser, and that's why you're in this, this present energy, or you are dealing with the King of Wands. You could be dealing with another Sagittarius Leo Aries, present energy. Okay, tell us more. What's in the heart of this spread? Wow, right out the gate, judgment. Boom. My nose is itching. Uh, I'm really paying attention to the dove here. Normally on this artwork, I'm usually drawn to the, the Piscean fish on the bottom, but there's something about the, the dove here. Above it, it says, our dead drink the sea. Sagittarius, I don't know. There may be something that you want to do when you start drinking water. Pray over it. Every glass or every bottle of water that you drink, pray over it before you drink it now. That That is considered holy water what better way to cleanse your soul and your your vessel than with holy water right there's something here about this really blessing yourself um or you've you've also called major judgment on a on a situation we'll find out what exactly possibly but okay there it is world card and then what else we also had i believe the uh, the hermit okay <clears throat> bottom of the deck of uh, that is the eight of coins i just stuttered also so there's something here about maybe like a Something may have happened in retrograde, and we just got out of retrograde uh, season on Sunday. So, this is whatever decision has been made this week or is being made this week. It's like a final decision, but I feel like it's not going to come in until Virgo season. Or it may be war or it may be dealing with a Virgo or again a, a Aries Leo Sagittarius. A Virgo may be asking you to travel. 
as well. Random. Okay. Give me three more. All right. What's coming in future for Sagittarius? Very interesting. Pay attention to stained glass windows as well. There may be a message in a stained glass. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Sag, this is a, a specific channeling. There, I want you to look at stained glass windows because in, in the upcoming week, there may be literally a confirmation of artwork in a stained glass window. I don't know where that's coming from, but if that resonates or if you've just gotten a confirmation like that, please leave me a comment below. Um, let's talk about this future energy. We've got the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles, okay? That's you being a boss going from very uh, well and ready on your own to 10, nine to 10. I love that progression for you. The 10 of pentacles also fell under the 10 of wands, the judgment, and now 10 of pentacles. So we've got like two tens on each end of this. Devil in reverse fell in my lap. Wow. Wow. Okay, Sag. Here's what's up. I'm hearing Freedom by Aretha Franklin. <laughs> I can't make it up. I cannot. Sad, you're about to be rich. Or your money is about to be on fire. Or somebody's going to offer you a new job or a new contract. That's also separate because that's not what this devil in reverse means. Like if, if normally if it's a contract, in my opinion, it's, it's in the upright, but it's not. So I feel like you've defeated some serious toxic energy with regards to your finances. Yeah, there's the passion right behind it. So <laughs> this is across the board. This is across the board, Sag. Okay. Um, your love life is going to be very, very good in the upcoming week. Partnership, someone absolutely loves you. So whether you're single or in a, in a relationship, uh, someone absolutely has feelings for you. And I feel like they're, they're letting you know how they feel. They're showing you how they feel. Dare I say... They really want to show you how they feel. Uh, and again, this could just this could be female. It don't, you know, doesn't necessarily have to be a male. But this person is very mature. Again, I told you, again, you're in a mature energy. This person's mature. This person, if this is love related, a person wants to take something to the next step with you because they've defeated their own demons, they are going to tell you that. Now, work-related, if this is work-related, somebody, a potential Capricorn, or someone who has Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, is really helping you with your finances, and then this is you ending out the week. So there's like several different energies here, but I feel like it's all surrounding you. Yeah, okay, so I, I wish you could see this. I don't know if I can, I'm just going to turn the deck. See how those cards are, how they're kind of adjacent? Right here, right where that split was, Ten of Cups, Sag, Sag, split again, see where it split right here, Strength, Leo Energy, I am telling you right now, Sagittarius, you are dealing, uh, or you or Leo are in the same vibration. I am so excited to see what the Aries reading is going to be like, because I bet there are, I bet it's very similar. We'll see what happens, but uh, I'm going to end your reading here, Sag. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Take care. Uh, if you have any questions or if you're interested in a private reading, all the information is below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I hope you have a fantastic week because it looks like you're about to be on fire. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.